Today we're speaking with Dr. Martine Picard, Professor of Oncology at the Université Libre de Bruxelles and Director of Medicine Department at the Institut Jules Bourdet in Brussels, Belgium. She is also the co-founder and chair of the Breast International Group. Thank you very much for joining us today. Could you first begin by summarizing the key points of your lecture, International Breast Cancer Research, Launching an Expedition to the Moon? Uh, the main theme of my lecture tomorrow is going to be uh, the fact that the transition from empirical oncology to tailored oncology is going to require a cultural revolution in the way we conduct clinical and translational research. And because I'm part of a wonderful network of clinical and translational investigators called the Breast International Group, I'm going to summarize the contributions of this network to this cultural revolution. And I will speak more specifically about three milestones. First, fighting the fragmentation in adjuvant clinical trials for breast cancer. Second, uh, trying to move away from the one strategy fits all approach. And third, uh, incorporating modern translational science into clinical trials. Thank you. And what led you to create the Breast International Group? Well, um, you know, the day where I knew that my mother had breast cancer, uh, I was a young medical oncologist, and then I was involved in all these discussions about what would be the best adjuvant treatment for her. And I realized that personalized therapies are just a dream today. They are not a reality for patients. So there was this discussion whether she should get chemotherapy, endocrine therapy. And I think that this uh, stimulated my uh, interest for international uh, breast cancer research. I I saw that uh, research in Europe in particular in that field was terribly fragmented, uh, that there was a lot of duplication of efforts. And so I was really interested in trying to create the links between uh, all the groups doing research at that time but not talking to each other. And um, I also realized the great potential of uh, collaborative efforts between all these groups. And, um, and this happened to be true because the day the groups decided to work together, we have really been able to accelerate adjuvant clinical trials uh, considerably. And could you speak about those clinical trials that you're involved in and how they're going, Hera, MindCat, and Alto? So um, we are particularly proud indeed of three uh, clinical trials, the MindAct trial first, is uh, an incredibly interesting study because it's really uh, trying to demonstrate the clinical utility of a multi-gene signature to better identify patients who do not need adjuvant chemotherapy. It's a complicated study, but uh, the fact that it is now recruiting well is really a demonstration that complex prospective translational research efforts are possible at an international level. The HERA trial was very important, I think, because it brought a very effective drug, trastuzumab, to many uh, women in Europe and in other parts of the world. When the trial was started, we didn't know that this drug was going to be so effective. Um, so it was clearly a way to help women um, globally having this very aggressive form of breast cancer called HER2 positive breast cancer. And of course now we are conducting uh, an even larger trial called ALTO which is uh, going to further improve the outcome of these women by bringing a second anti-HER2 agent in the treatment scheme. And this drug is lapatinib, so we are investigating the best possible way to use this new agent in sequence or in combination with trastuzumab. And we are trying also to uh, improve the quality of the translational research in this trial because 
what we would really like to be able to tell at the end of this exercise is who are the women who are going to need this new drug in addition to trastuzumab, which is already on its own a very effective drug. So um, we are building in Alto some uh, prospective translational research hypothesis. We are making sure that we will have enough statistical power to answer some of these interesting questions related to preferential benefits from lapatinib or trastuzumab in predefined, uh, in molecularly predefined subgroups of patients. Thank you. And is there anything that I did not ask you that you would like to touch upon or discuss? Um, well, I think it's important to say that uh, this uh, Maguire Award is really uh, going to a collaborative network of people. Um, I also think that uh, what we have been tried to achieve in the past decade with the Breast International Group is this equal partnership between pharma and academia. And I am a strong believer that this is the right model to do large clinical trials in the adjuvant setting. I think it is the model that uh, best protects the interest of patients uh, because it protects them from um, some commercial advantages or academic advantages that uh, could potentially cloud the collection and interpretation of results. So the fact that we have this equal partnership, I think, is really uh, very good and is the way forward. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Picard. Thank you.